I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Hello, Tribe. We're here today with Kenny and Dixie and their rig and their dog, Marlo. Marlo. It's a very sweet dog. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves, Kenny? Um, we're from Minnesota. We come down here for about a month in Texas. And then we do several trips a year three, four weeks at a time. So last year, I think we were 12 weeks on the road. We're not full time, we're just vacationing. That's good. And traveling. I love road trips. So I guess in the winter, it's much nicer down here, huh? Yes. How do you like the beach in Texas? This is a great beach. Uh, I like it because you don't get the salt spray that you do when you're right on the uh, the Gulf. Right. If you're right on the Gulf. It, it's it may much. sound great, <laughs> but you end up all sticky with salt. Right, exactly. So, how long have you been in this rig? This rig is um, four years old, I think. About that. And I, I understand you built it yourself? Yes, I, I started with a, um, a carry on trailer. Okay. Um, built everything from that up. It's made out of um, inch and a half foam and covered with canvas. There's no wood or metal in the structure. Oh, so. that's great. So it's insulated and lightweight yep. because of the materials. Yeah. And you know how, about how much it weighs? With all my gear in it. That's not the bragging weight. That's with all this stuff right. in there. Most people weigh it um, empty. With everything in it, it weighed 1,100 pounds. That's great. That means you can tow it with just about anything. Yeah, I'm pulling for the Subaru Forester. And you've had other rigs before this? I've had, um, I started out with a um, Lasaro um, Winnebago motorhome. And there's a reason why they named it Lasaro. It's a <laughs> sorry excuse for a motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> so when you build it yourself, you know what you're getting. Yeah. And you make sure you've got good quality materials and workmanship yep. and that kind of thing. So how do you like traveling in this rig? I love, love it because I got everything I need, not carrying anything I really don't need. I can um, park, I can Walmart while a um, tent camper can't. Right. And easy to tow, decent mileage. Right. What about you, Dixie? Do you like traveling in uh, in this rig? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? Some good and some bad? Yeah. She likes to take pictures of them. Yeah, I like to take pictures. So, you can't take, you can only take, page. you can only take so many pictures at home. That's right. So the traveling part's good. Maybe, maybe slow on the small side. Would you say that's a down, a downside to, to traveling in this rig? It's a, a size? Bit. A little bit, but overall, you like it? Yeah. Well, you like this guy, so it's kind of a package deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, great. Thank you so much. Okay, Kenny, why don't you tell us a little bit about your rig? I, this is my uh, camper my way, like the Frank Sinatra song. I did it my way. It's a, it's a what considered a foamy. It's made out of just inch and a half foam covered with canvas. Consider uh, a foam cooler glued to the trailer going down the road right. at 80 miles an hour. What okay. could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it's made of. Inch and a half foam covered with, with, uh, with oh, canvas, canvas glued on with um, type on tube glue. And uh, the exterior is um, painted with house latex paint. Wonderful. And where did you get that foam? If someone wanted to work with that? Um, most lumber yards, especially in northern climates. Okay. Some southern um, lumber yards don't carry inch and a half. Okay. They'll carry two inch. Do you know the R value of that foam? Um, I That's okay. I was just curious. Know, but it's pretty good. Okay. Can you tell us about these uh, slide outs? The slide outs are, are um, for my feet go sideways. How wide is, is the trailer? It's, it's built on a 5 by 8 trailer. 
Okay. Yeah. So not quite long enough to sleep crossways without... Unless you're really short. Yeah. <laughs> and the slide outs are made of um, your plastic tubs that you can buy at any store. I deliberately got deeper ones. Wasn't that clever? One is um, glued into the wall and cut flush. The other one just slides out into it. Well, how about that? Yeah, when it's out, the mattress holds it out. That is really clever. When it's in, there's a little cleat that it just drops off. The saucepan is on the wall instead of the roof because I have three solar panels on the roof. Oh, wonderful. And they are the roof. The solar panels, oh my goodness. You well, take how the, about that? You take them off, you got a big hole. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's amazing. And in that this um, camper is uh, made out of foam, there was nothing to attach a um, galley hatch to. Okay. Typically you have a hatch. So I used a pickup tonneau cover. You, you're quite the innovator. And a pickup tonneau cover also makes a nice... So like a teardrop, you've got this uh, galley area yep. in the back. Galley kitchen. Lots of storage. That means that I have enough solar power. I cook with the Instapot and or this little um, little griddle. How much solar do you have on the roof? I have 450 watts of solar on the roof. And That's a lot for that amount of space. For this smaller camper. Yeah. And uh, 280 amps of lithium battery. Oh, that's great. This is a very efficient use of space. Yes. Here we are, there's the fan. Look at that, you got a TV. And a curtain so that we ha can have privacy, privacy. Sure. on both beds. So you've got like two single bunks here. With uh, And look at that, your feet, I don't think would feel too confined in that amount of space. Hold on just a second. Let's go right. And with the so drop floor, you, you can almost stand Your up. solar set up. I left the electrical out in the open so that I can change it whenever I want. Use um, And you've got an air conditioner. Yep. And I use shoe trees for a little storage. Right. And Lightweight and mm -hmm. up against the, the wall, use that vertical space. And the one thing most teardrops don't have is um, Storage under There's there. six bins of storage underneath the bed. Wow! And you've got um, a your toilet, composting toilet with, I think you said a diverter. Yeah. It's, which is very, very easy to use. Yeah. What is what is the material on the roof? That's ceiling tile to cover the um, solar panels because um, okay. solar panels, like the light tile? will shine right through a solar yeah. panel. <laughs> well, great. And if I want to set up a shower. I got a curtain I can set up here. That's and, amazing. And that produces the, um, the bar in the inside for the curtain inside. Oh, Kenny, I really, the engineering is amazing and, and so clever. I really have never seen anything like this. It works great for me. It has everything I want and it's nice to have lots of storage right. in the camper. And the beds are off the floor, so right. I can sit on the beds while a standard teardrop, you're putting on your pants lay, laying right. down, which is tough. Right. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Thank you to you and Dixie and Marlo.